I've always felt, and my department has, that Boston will be a primary target. And after Marathon Day, Superintendent Fitzgerald says they're already working with the state police on our next big civic gathering, Independence Day on the Esplanade. We're heading to New York City uh, to learn about the Times Square plan that they put in place for New Year's Eve. Uh, because clearly, you know, that's a very high-risk event that they run there. And, and again, they're, they're so helpful to us that uh, we're going to go down and see how they run that event. You know, in Times Square since 9-11, there's a very elaborate system of partitioning and so forth. Can we expect that there will be physical changes in the layout on the 4th? I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. Meanwhile, with the arrests of three local college students charged with aiding Johar Sarnayev after the fact, Fitzgerald says BPD's ongoing collaboration with area campuses is more important than ever. Universities are a big part of our plan. Have they been a source of information in an ongoing way? Uh, yeah, I mean, not, not, I won't say with this case particularly, right. but uh, yeah, as part of our strategy that they're active partners with us. Yeah. Do you have watch lists that are spun off of the campuses? Uh, I wouldn't say watch lists, no, no, but we do engage in uh, looking at people who might be behaving in a suspicious manner. But for him, a major long-term challenge is fighting off public complacency. The further we get away from 9-11, the closer we get to 9-10.